Hello and welcome to Essence of Knowledge group. This group is especially for the participants of the program and these meetings are for clearing your doubts, answering your questions about the program. Vishaga is asking, how can we find the difference between beliefs and truth? Are these beliefs always false? Belief means some kind of assumption, some thoughts in the mind which are not verified through your means of knowledge. Means of knowledge, direct experience and logic. And truth is, that is verified completely without any doubt. That is not heard from here and there or read from here and there. It is your own experience. This is the difference. Are beliefs always false? Yes. By definition, the definition is like this that they are not verified. So it does not matter what you believe. It may look like truth. Somebody else says this thing so it must be true. This is the belief. But is it true for you? No. But if you get the experience, if you verify it, then you can say that the belief is now knowledge. Now it will not be called a true belief. It will be called knowledge. So beliefs are always without any foundation. They are just thoughts in the mind. Knowledge is very much grounded, solid. Now, what kind of knowledge can be called true knowledge? What is truth? And it is very simple. That which keeps changing is not true. That which is not changing will be called true. That which keeps changing is not true. That which is not changing is true. So beliefs, because they can change any time, they are always false. Once you know something, that means it is going to remain like this. If it changed, it was not knowledge, it was a belief. You believed something, but when you found out some the case is something else, the situation is something else, that means the original thought was simply a belief. So like this, if you define knowledge, belief and truth, you will find that belief is always false. Knowledge is your own experience. It is established by logic. So it is always the same. Knowledge never changes. So it is the truth. Why do we believe? Because probably it is not important. That can be one thing that somebody told you something. You believe it as truth. You do not verify it. Probably it is not important. That's why. Second, incapable of verifying. Probably you are not in a situation to go and verify it, to find out, to get the experience. That is the second cause of some believing something. Third is ignorance. You don't know how to find the truth. So the example of the first will be that somebody told you that uh, this movie is a good movie. Probably you are not interested. You simply believe. Yes, it can be good. Who knows? But he said it, so it must be good. This is the belief because it's not important to find out for you. But let us say you want to buy a property of 50 lakh rupees. Somebody tells you this is a good property. It is an important decision. So you will say, show me the property. You won't believe it because now risk is too much in believing. The second is incapable of finding the truth. Somebody tells you the temperature of sun is this many million degrees. Now, probably they measured it. It is a belief for you if you simply assume that, okay, he said it, so it must be true. It looks hot. But you are incapable of going there and checking the temperature or you don't have the instruments also. So in that case, you believe it. Anyhow, it's not important. But suppose you want to write the exam and the exam means that you will get the job. If you pass, you must believe the information in the book or your teacher or anybody else. The internet, you write that answer. It is a complete belief, but still you are incapable of finding the truth. So you do it. Practical matter. And the third is causes of believing is not knowing how to judge the true from the false. That means not having any criteria for truth. You don't know how to find out. And then simply believe like children do or uneducated, illiterate people do. A people with less intelligence, they do it. Simply believe because they don't know how to find out something. It's true. Verify something. People who are very emotional they simply go for the feeling. It feels good, so it must be true. So they have these very, very poor criteria to judge the truth. And that is why they simply believe. And if you believe many, many things without verification, then the consequence is suffering, loss, no progress, not getting your desires fulfilled. 
so on and that is the problem with majority of people anup is saying maintaining awareness in waking and dream state did happen but i am still struggling to be in awareness in deep sleep it's always like a gap please guide me it is okay it's perfectly okay if there is no awareness in sleep it takes some time to get established in the waking state dream state it takes a long time to get into this kind of continuous unbroken awareness so if you are struggling there is no point in struggling because there is no real need see where is the need of awareness when you are doing something important when uh, you are taking a major decision when you are uh, in among people when you are in difficult situation their awareness is most important is it important in the sleep when you are doing nothing resting no not important and therefore it is there is no point in struggling to get the awareness there what will happen is when you are established completely in waking state it will automatically happen slowly in the sleep so even if you are aware in the dream state it's not very important because the life happens only in waking state nowhere else no it is not so important in other states if it happens naturally then it's perfectly okay but if you are struggling to do it that means there is some problem there the practice should not become a struggle the practice should become blissful enjoyable activity happiness not a struggle a seeker is struggling to practice that means something is wrong some wrong practice is going on there so the guideline is very simple stay aware in the waking state it will automatically happen in all the states if it does not happen there is really no loss if you are not aware in sleep there is no loss actually if you are not aware in dream there is no loss but if you forget the knowledge in the waking state also that means something major is wrong that means either this is not your path you are not interested you means that seeker who is forgetting in the waking state and the major reason reason, reason that people forget is it is a story for them it is not solid truth for them so they forget and that is that is a major problem if you are sleeping peacefully in night it's perfectly okay no problem at all if it comes naturally fine because in sleep there is nobody to practice anything nobody to remember anything so there is no practice for it it's kind of impossible in dream you can set up reminders because there is somebody there in the dream the dream ego the false person in the dream is there if a memory bridge is made from waking to dream it is possible so there is a technique there but in sleep there is no technique if you go to sleep there is nobody to execute the technique to do the technique and it is not also important so while you are in the program the whole focus is on understanding the teaching not sleep not dream not any other strange state of mind the mind has hundreds of states what will you do <laughs> how many techniques will you use because in the human form we are limited to two or three waking dreaming that's all do you know anything else no but the mind itself the memory universal memory has hundreds and hundreds of states the master key is knowing who you are while you can know it while the mind is active if you forget at the time when you are in complete waking state when the complete knowledge is available if if a person forgets and becomes a human man woman other than the experiencer believes i am the i am a person i am the body i am the mind and believes the world as the final truth that is a big problem that means for a long time there won't be any awareness in any of the states this is the key why this has happened why the knowledge was lost probably not its path probably not interested probably at this time the material world is more important jobs people relations money entertainment unfulfilled desires probably these things are more important for that seeker so does not check the truth like just now i said if it is not important you will not check it it does not really matter it is not a question of 50 lakhs so the awareness will never come if the knowledge is solid for you if it is the most important thing in your life you don't need any practice then 
struggling means what you forget isn't it so give it more importance that is how you should utilize your time in the program don't worry about sleep and all these things they happen automatically if they don't happen it's fine not useful at all anup is saying all three states are false i is the only truth i understand it intellectually puts me in distress if i am doing something wrong when it comes to experiencing it what do you mean by intellectually is it not your experience what is the meaning of intellectual here have you not verified it experientially all the truths you see the waking itself is false now there is no doubt about other states and you need to verify it first it should not become an intellectual exercise that i heard it somewhere somebody told me it is the logical thing no it should be false right here right now also can you tell me the meaning of intellectual because some people have a different meaning of that word because yes path of knowledge is intellectual we use intelligence to know the truth there is a method to know the truth so if you understand it intellectually it must be true yes all experiences are false but i am asking the meaning of the word intellectual see right now right here you are experiencing the illusion this is not a intellectual exercise it is not some mathematical calculation or uh, something some sentence in the book this is an illusion is the experience it is verified by intellect how will you verify it is changing why did we use this criteria of change that is how it is defined if it change it is not true today i tell you that uh, this product costs 1000 rupees tomorrow i tell you it is 2000 that means changed so the first statement was wrong it was uh, false is this intellectual or experience this is not intellectual it is our experience that the yesterday the cost was 1000 today the cost is 2000 this is actual experience and the intellect says depending on the experience the intellect says these things decides it is false so why are you in distress when you say that uh, um, you are saying that i want to experience it but i am struggling because this is the experience that yesterday what whatever happened today it is gone this is actual experience now the intellect says whatever happened yesterday was totally false it is gone that is why i said your uh, awareness in sleep has no no importance at all if you cannot remain aware today right now here it is useless do you face these problems of true and false in sleep no you sleep peacefully vishaka is saying intellectual here means thinking logical yes that is right and in the path of knowledge intellect means our ability to find out what this experience is it is not our ability to imagine something in the head that is why i tried to clarify you know some people think the intellectual knowledge means there is no experience behind it and that is called ignorance in the path of knowledge belief assumption ignorance we don't call it intellectual knowledge actually in some one of the videos in the program i said there is no indirect knowledge indirect knowledge is also ignorance so whatever is said on the path of knowledge is actual experience which is right now right here whole of it is false this is coming from experience not intellectual mambo jumbo namaste guru ji uh, i got this doubt because all the waking and uh, dreaming state the experience is different for everyone but when it comes to deep sleep state it's almost like similar to everyone there is nothing else exists in the same way uh, like the awareness also like i am the witness to what's happening that is also not in my thing so this thing created this doubt in me no problem at all it's not a big problem and uh, because we are all new to this uh, path of knowledge even i am new to this path initially i used to worry that no miracles are happening <laughs> that is over expectation the real miracle is knowledge not some kind of strange state of mind how to know if i am progressing you will be left with no doubts no struggles no distress there will be peace in your mind there will be bliss happiness satisfaction we are talking about waking state right now we say yes there is progress if this is happening we say progress and then we worry about what what happens in other states so go step by step 
that is my advice to everybody go step by step progress where you are right now you are in the waking state establish your knowledge there clear all your doubts awareness practice is called practice why because the seeker is still a little bit raw it's not solid not cooked completely so there will be ups and downs yes sometimes the knowledge will look like totally false this is also a story the mind will say like this there are so many stories in this country one more religious system blind belief then you must go back to your direct experience is there an experiencer yes is there an experience yes which one is me like this self inquiry starts this is the practice and it takes 5 minutes to see that yes this is the truth all the experience is false i am the experiencer it is true states of the mind they come and go not me false nothing to worry now bliss no doubts so this is what is called self inquiry to always find out where the truth is come back there come back always then the mind will start another thing another story this happened in my life that happened in my life somebody said this somebody you see you will get lost again because old habit raw raw material you are not formed completely okay this will last for let us say half an hour one hour that the mind is gone in some dream like state when you are not in awareness everything is nonsense dream nonsensical dream isn't it before knowledge your whole life was like this only <laughs> now let it happen let it do something its tendencies are strong then you come back in awareness the mind was thinking about old memories useless completely useless false again back in peace back in bliss i will start worrying about tomorrow okay let's do something for tomorrow plan back in peace if this situation is there i need to handle it i need to meet somebody there is important work okay do it back in awareness this is awareness practice nidhi is saying what is referred to as illusion are all things that are impermanent but illusion is more as we don't see what is actually there is it correct why do we don't see that which is actually there this is the question why is it impermanent this is the question first you should know this then you will understand the meaning of illusion we don't see things as they are because it is impossible that is me only at this at the level of non duality oneness it is me only therefore i cannot see myself directly so what happens is some of the illusory form appears because anything can appear it changes remember if i had a real form i would appear to me as that reality always but since i don't have any form there is a freedom to appear as anything it seems that it is changing we call it potential possibility because there is only emptiness the emptiness is not cannot be seen or cannot be perceived it is me only but its forms can be perceived there which are not really forms isn't it not true form my true nature is emptiness so whatever appears is false nature and that's why it changes because it can appear as anything there is a freedom there potentially so both things mean the same thing changing things are false and they are not what they are both are one and the same thing you can say they are the qualities of the illusion and th- these are told in the program actually there is a long list of qualities of the illusion it is under the video on observation of the illusion so the first thing we see is that illusion is impermanent and that is why it is called illusion second thing we see that goes in cycles it changes but it changes in cycles and there are more things that perception is totally made by the nervous system or whatever we call it memory senses so the illusion has all these qualities there are more qualities in the illusion that it is geared for survival it is designed in a way it appears in that form which is best for survival of this individual so that means that it is totally fabricated created because of the need to survive so we have given all these examples illusion has many many characteristics you can count them you can observe it it is a direct experience impermanence is one of them emptiness is another it is not made up of a substance the illusion is not made up of anything and it is not that which actually is what actually is is emptiness which is me i am appearing to myself and it will never be seen because it is not something which can be seen it is not an i am not an object 
I am the existence. This must be remembered always. But uh, the fact is that the illusions are permanent. That means there will be always be illusion, which is called experience. Proper term. There will always be experience. Yes, it will be illusory. There is no true experience. Why is it is always there? Why the experience is also permanent? Because it is also existence. It is also me. Will never be seen as something which is not changing. Will never be seen without senses or perception or any other process. There is nothing to see. So you can understand it like this. There is experience. Now there are all these qualities in the experience. All these characteristics, observations we can make about it. When we say about uh, all these qualities, we are talking about one thing only. It is not that oh, it is impermanent. That means it uh, something else is missing. What is the real meaning of illusion? No, no. They all are descriptions of the illusion. Impermanence is one description. It is created by senses. Another description. It is cyclic. Another. It happens in different mental states. Another description. It is empty. Another description. We are talking about one and the same thing. Okay, another question. I know that uh, is the term in the course from the beginning, but I find it confusing as things around me, while impermanent, do not exist. Am I on the right path? Yes, a little bit confusing because we say the experience is illusory. Then we stop saying this and we say experience is illusion. Then we stop saying this and we say illusion. Why is that? Because we are going deeper in the illusion. In the science part, we do not call it experience. Actually, we stick to the illusion, which is a translation of the Sanskrit Maya. So, in Sanskrit, also we do same same thing. First, we call it anubhav or anubhuti. Then we say that all this anubhav is Maya, and then we stop calling that and we simply dive into the Maya, dive into the illusion. So, the word will change. Yes, the terms will change when you talk about. the science part science is what study of illusion study of the experience part of the existence so there because the philosophy changes because non non dual advait does not go into illusion they do not study it that much sometimes we see the word vibrations and all this not beyond that so the philosophy changes and therefore some words they change so it is confusing yes but you need to see that we are talking about the same thing when we say illusion experience part of me when we say experience same thing illusory part of me same thing so in many philosophies it won't be called illusion it will be called impermanence there is no i also there is no experience or also it depends on the philosophy in many parts the illusion is reality like the occult they do not say it is false the criteria of truth changes so the trick is to understand the basic first then you can call it anything you want Study it. Like when we study the illusion at one level, we drop into the illusion so much that uh, the objects become real, the body becomes real, your thoughts and emotion they are all true at that level. This is called the transactional level. We, then we do not say that body is illusion. If you are uh, not well, if you are sick, if there is a disease, we we do not say it is illusion. <laughs> we go and treat it. We take the medicine. because we are dealing with the illusion here completely in the illusion so like this the words they will keep changing the meaning will keep changing depending on the context at the highest level is all one no illusion no truth is not defined at in the level of duality yes it is defined what is illusion what is not it's necessary to know because you want to know the absolute truth the absolute truth is you only that is the twist in the story and then you drop down in the illusion because that is our life our life is complete illusion human life is completely an illusion so there we cannot say it is illusion and live there you will need to accept this is how it is this dream is going on now i need to do whatever is necessary to do here this individual creature so you are existing at many levels do not mix the absolute with the relative relative with the absolute one philosophy in the other philosophy use that which is needed at that time that's all and there is more actually which is the tantra bodhi program much more to study in the illusion there is nothing to study in the truth so you should go back always to check what is the basic otherwise you will not understand the illusion also if the basic is not understood the illusion will not be understood 
Harish is saying, is there no relation, co-relationship between time spent in deep sleep and the perceived changes in manifested life for the individual? The deep sleep is actually not inactivity. It is full of activity. Like there are now many podcasts and many videos about it which I made. It is not inactive from the mind's point of view. What is active there? That which we call causal body or the higher layers of the mind. The lower layers are also active. Actually, that is the funny part of the sleep that only a tiny part of the organism is changed in the deep sleep state. Your memories are still there. Your senses are functioning. Like somebody calls your name and you are sleeping, you get up. And the experiencer is there because if alarm rings, who hears the alarm? It is always there. So uh, the state is different. It is not like waking state. That's all we can say. If somebody does has not studied sleep at all, for them we can say, look, it is a state. It is not like waking state. Everything is there. All activity is there. So the processing is happening of memories, your waking state experiences, what, what happened last day, whom you met, all these influences that you received yesterday that are getting processed in the deep sleep. They are having some effect on you, on this individual. They are getting stored in the causal bodies. There is some relation is being formed at the higher la- layers and so on. You see, he's full of activity. The whole layered structure never sleeps because the meaning of sleep in English is dead, <laughs> gone, inactive. No, it's not. It is a, simply another way of acting. Now it is dark. There is no food, you cannot find the food and you need shelter, there is some risk, there are hunters outside, animals. So the body goes in a restful state, there is nothing to do. So because of our evolution, because of the rotation of the earth, this state has evolved. But it is not death, it is not inactivity, nothing goes away. The ignorant people, they don't really understand these things. So they think sleep is gone, everything is gone, I am not there how to come back, how to remain aware. No need actually. It is perfectly natural. So yes, if something stressful happens in the daytime, the sleep is affected because now a lot is going on. Now you will not be able to rest nicely. And if the sleep is nice, the next day is because that much load is gone. Now processing load is taken away. So communication happens between minds and so on. You see, these are occult now uh, domain there. So not, we have left the path of knowledge now. <laughs> so when we study the mind, it is illusion. Memory is an illusion. Now the path of knowledge is gone. Bye bye. Now it is occult purely. So to understand all these states, you will need to study this illusion completely. It is all practical. Now videos won't help you that much. I am telling you like this. Right now also, for example, these, these, these activities happen in the sleep. But is that the truth? No, it is simply the words that you are hearing from me. When will it become true? When you experience it yourself. Are you not experiencing? Yes, but there is no memory of it. Why there is no memory? Probably it's not important. (laughs) Otherwise you will remember it. If it becomes, the sleep state becomes the most important thing in your life, whole of your attention will be there then you will remember what happens. Since it is opposite, you know, waking is the most important. Whatever happens there is most important. You remember only that much. If you take a look at your life also, you remember only the important events, not the usual things. Unimportant. It's lost. So the more you dive into the states, the more knowledge you will get, then you will see that everything is correlated. Everything affects each other because it is one structure. You will find, you know, once you rise to that level, what happens in my mind affects your mind. Why? One. It is one. Universal memory. There are no boundaries. So now people must be thinking, how can I come in that kind of awareness? It will take many lifetimes. It won't happen tomorrow. (laughs) Not even in one week or one month or one year. Many, many lifetimes. This is the process of evolution. You became human after millions of years of incarnations. Think about this. It is good to have an interest in these things, but practically it is, you see, very, very difficult. How do I know all these things? You see, heard from my gurus, heard from all other masters. Have I verified it? Not much, only a little. 
probably once in two or three years i get a little bit of experience oh this must be the this must be due to this thing which my guru told me <laughs> something like this it is going to take many lifetimes to find out what happens in deep sleep that's why i was telling him <laughs> you are in step 2 since two or three weeks enjoy relax do that which is your capability first let us do that to know the knowledge to know the truth to verify it to find out what is uh, what are the problems in the waking state is my life okay or not are there impurities or not have i cleared my path to the evolution or not these are more important things but yes it is interesting to know what what are the other states and what happens there any curious person will want to know but there are practical things to consider if you jump into that thing which is not possible today then you won't be able to fix whatever is wrong today step by step many lifetimes the beauty of the truth is that it can be known today right now you will find out what is true or is false your true nature and so on few minutes illusion no it is infinite it keeps changing it keeps changing i am talking about the sleep of a human being what happens there what about any creature that uh, is not on a planet where day and night don't happen what about that creature is there a deep sleep there no what about trees trees they look like they are in deep sleep all the time so that also changes there is no deep sleep actually in the universe it is an event for like 0.1% of the creatures is it true then no not true so that also will change as you evolve all the states they disappear the division of the three states will not be there when the human birth is gone is over do you need to sleep after that <laughs> no because there is no night there is no day there is no brain there is no body there is no need to rest no survival issues see so that is why the knowledge of the illusion is also illusion there is no real need of it thing is people are fascinated with it they want to know all these things i say awareness practice no first tell me what happens after death no no find out, find out that which you can find out right now there is this, this is your opportunity you will know what happens after death after death not now if i tell you something it will be like a story then there will be doubts somebody else told me something else you are telling me something else yes it changes false something is false it will be seen as different different experiences by different people obvious it is obvious no real point in studying the illusion the real importance is of the truth which you are right now right here jagdish is saying how can it be possible to be in self realization state self realization means that i am the experiencer which is essence of the whole existence now verify this completely find out whether this is true or not and remember it that is called awareness practice remembrance is awareness awareness is remembrance that is called the self realization state when you will be shown how to be in awareness that state all the time that will be taught to you then you will need to practice it whole of your life for example if you want to learn some instrument music musical instrument you go to the teacher let's say guitar the teacher gives you the tips how to play it which are the chords which are the notes this song that song he will give you some practice then you come back home and you keep playing it for the rest of your life depending on how interested you are in playing the guitar same way this program gives gives you the knowledge look this is the knowledge this is how you practice it these are the states now depending on your interest you keep doing it it depends on how important this is for you so the program is a step by step teaching it is always recommended to find out what the program is doing before doing it your mind will say like this i am not coming in that state the 30 videos in the program when will i come you see that means you have not checked what are the steps in the program or 3 weeks have passed in my step number 4 there is no awareness in the dream there is no awareness in sleep there is no projection experience 3 weeks that means you have not checked the program the program says will teach you in 3 months how to be aware then it must continue for whole of your life why do i say whole of your life because that's what you know you don't know that you have many many lives ahead <laughs> i cannot prove it so but we can prove that you have one life at least it will continue for many lifetimes 
This is the beginning. Small initiation. Now there is nothing else except practice, practice, practice. This state, that state. This purification, that purification. This evolution, that evolution. Enjoy. Because you have infinite time. You are eternally here. Now there is no point in hurrying. You see, you see, you should hurry only when you are in ignorance. Because that is a terrible situation to be in. Ignorance is the worst situation. Now you must hurry to get the knowledge. Get the guru, find the right path and all. They should, you know, there should be urgency there. Some people are not even interested in that. No problem. But fortunately you are interested. So you took the path. You are trying to learn. You are on the right path. If you understand these things, that means you are in the, on the right path. If you are approaching the truth, fine. Once you know the truth and once you have verified it, not, nothing to worry now. No hurry. Now there is eternity. So if the knowledge is not making you happy, relaxed, peaceful, blissful, then something is wrong. Something is really wrong. For the duration of the program, we simply point out where are the problems. We sim I simply check you and I tell you, okay, everything is going right or you need to solve some issues or that's all will happen in the program. So go step by step, go slowly, no hurry. The important part is knowledge, not this state, that state, this experience, that experience. It's, it's not really important right now. When it becomes important, you will see only that will happen. So we are building the foundation first. Then only you can put some walls there. Then there will be roof. And there is no need to worry about the roof because there is no foundation right now. Worry about the foundation. Your foundation is the basic knowledge. If that is founded nicely, then everything will happen automatically. Then you don't need the program. Then you don't need me. Guidance is needed only when you don't know how to walk on the path. So here we'll end today's meeting. Thank you everybody for attending today's meeting.